What did the ranch say to the refrigerator? What? Shut the door, I'm dressing. That's funny. Welcome back to Chatter Chat. Brian got a Pixel 2, and the video quality is amazing! So, we're gonna see. So, we're not using that today. We're gonna use it another time and just try this out for a change and see what happens. And I fucking think I love it because I look super beautifully tan and my hair looks nice and blonde and our background looks really boring but that's not what you're here for you're not here for the fucking background you're here for this for this you know the camera doesn't make you look beautiful chill bitch so anyway should i wear the beanie or get rid of it today so today we're doing the boyfriend tag and i have an orange that brian's gonna peel for we're me. doing the boyfriend tag and i have an orange I think the moral of doing of like boyfriend tags are just to ask them a series of questions. I have no idea what she's gonna ask. Which me. I have written down here. He doesn't know any of them. I did not tell him. When you peel an orange, you want to cut. Start. Get your box cutter. No, this has And you're to do going with to cut in a complete circle oranges. around the orange. Stop it! This has nothing to do with orange. Then you're gonna do it crisscross. Make a cut the same way. You make me violent. What this is for. This is not what we're doing the video on. This is a video on how to peel an orange. It's a perfectly peeled orange every time. We are doing this now, and Brian's going to answer the questions. I have ten questions here. Again, he has no idea what they are. So, I hope you're ready. Hope you're ready, you stupid I'm bitch. Ready to answer You fucking this. bitch. Here's your orange. Thank you. My niece got me this beanie. She's 11. Hey, she do you have an orange? And she thought it would be perfect for me. Let's go! First question. Your first impression of me. My first impression of you. Fun. When I met you, when I met you at the bar and we started talking, and I was like, oh, okay, and I saw this girl and she had tattoos and she's cool and she's like, in down-to-earth clothing. She wasn't trying to look all fucking snobby, high-maintenance pretty, and she was just, like, good-looking and just, like, didn't have to try to be good-looking. I saw her right away. I was attracted, and I was like, this girl looks, like, fun. Just, like, when you imagine a fun girl, this is it. Like, and I immediately was attracted to her and wanted... Do you ever think about killing me? Ah. Uh, I don't think about it. I fantasize about it. Like, am I a good kisser? You're an amazing kisser. When I kiss you. Yes, when you kiss me. You are a good kisser. Not right? a very affectionate person. No. Jacqueline doesn't understand that there's a gray area in the middle. There's a gray area between no non-affectionate and too affectionate. There's a great happy medium that a lot of people fall into. I feel like people fall into not the happy medium. Like, they're too affectionate. You know what I mean? I'm like not big on PDA. I love. That's fine. See, I'm on camera. That would have got me slapped. Uh -uh. I'm sticky. What do you have to do? Or a towel. Towel. No. Or a priest. <laughs> Next question. Do you like my clothing? Um, I wish you wore jeans more. You know that. I love jeans on girls. Yeah, I know. You tell all other girls how much they look hot in them. I do like your clothing. I like your style. I like, especially today, I told you, like, right away when you put that outfit on that you looked adorable. I like concert tees on girls. I like... I love t-shirts. Hmm. He like... Oh. He also likes brunettes. I do like brunettes. I do. I'm a natural brunette, but this just kind of, like, fits me. You know? You done with that orange? Yeah. Thank God. Never heard anybody eat an orange that loud in my life. That was not loud. Do you ever think to yourself, I wish she was somebody else? No. Never. Not Because well, I know I can be a handful of times. I know. But if I didn't want to be with you, I wouldn't be with you. I picked you because I want to be with you. If I wanted somebody else, I would have got that person. I don't have limitations. I could have had any girl I wanted to. And I chose the one I wanted. Someone but into themselves. Dumbass. If I had you chasing me, then that means I could go get any girl I wanted to. Don't make that face. Me? 
Do you think it's gross when I pick my nose? I pick my nose too, so no. I don't think it's gross when you eat my boogers. I don't eat your boogers. I eat my own. Will you pick my nose? No. Your fingers stink. Nothing even grosses me out. Dense, disgusting. This towel stinks like poop. Don't look at my questions. I wasn't. Cheap. Um, do my farts make you emotional? Yes, they make me angry. When you lay in bed and go, I have a stomach ache. I can't get out of bed. And then I go to get out of bed and you go, no, don't get out of bed. Be like, what? Why are you mad? No, don't be mad. And then I'll fart and she'll be like, oh my God, Brian, that's the most disgusting thing in the fucking world. Don't ever do that again. Yes, your farts make me emotional. <coughs> Especially because the first part of our relationship, I would get up and leave the room if I had to fart. And Ew, you were hell of weird in the beginning. You're like, you started you fart farting before apologize. I did. I don't apologize if I fart. I'm like, that's... It's funny. He would be like, be like, oh my god, yeah. I'm so sorry. And I'm like, ew, stop apologizing. You're being hell fucking it's weird. Polite. I didn't you're like mean 80 to years fart. old. You're not, you're not a middle-aged man. No. It's gross. Leave a comment down below. Who apologizes when they fart? Are farts gross, yes or no? Absolutely not. If I had no arms, would you wipe my butt? Yes. If I had arms, would you wipe my butt? No. I forgot how to wipe my butt. Would you wipe my butt? What, you like, like you had a head like, injury like or something? Like amnesia or something. And I didn't know that I had a butt. Yeah, of course. Like, what if I, what if I had, what if I had a head injury and I forgot that I had any, like, orifices on my body and then, like, I and just then, like, started wipe your mouth pooping you eat your everywhere mouth. and then, like, I didn't know I was pooping my pants because I didn't know what poop was. Like, would you clean it up? Yes. That's... Would you stay with me if I had amnesia? That's a good question. Actually. Yeah, until it's almost you, kind of like, uh. Yeah, until you decided you didn't want to. I mean, it's a fresh start. We would have to do our relationship over again. I would have that to That might help. be a good thing. That's fair. I like that. We got art. Come with me. And you'll see. And you'll be. Ga -ga -boo -boo -ba it's in a world of pure imagination. Come you with me. You mean the words aren't cock a poo poo butt face? No. <laughs> <laughs> They're not. And we'll see all the things that will heighten your dreamulation. Your ejaculation. Is this a, the Papa opera dolls? dolls? Yeah. Okay, I have one more question and that's it for this video. It's phosphorus. This is a this is a serious question. Will you marry me? No. Are you gonna marry me? Yes. I told you you have to propose to me. I hope that when that time comes I have it on video and we can put it on YouTube. Cause that doesn't happen very often where the woman proposes to the man. Mm -hmm. I don't consider myself a woman though. I'm considering myself a lady. I you have purple cool veins in your eyes. It looks like a D. In my eyelids? Go, look that way. So for the end of this video, we're going to read fortunes. All right, so one. This is Anda Express. Two. Three. Three. Meet your parent partner halfway. On in your mind? Yeah, you gotta show this to me. What's it say? Delight and surprise someone today. Can they? It's not focusing. My love will always be real. Stop! I have a sweaty butt. Stop! Stop! Anyways, thanks so much you guys for watching. Let us know what you want to see in the comments below. You know, we know you won't tell us, although people have been texting, so thank you to those people who have done that for us. We want your comments, likes. We want to hear from you! You subscribe! Thank you to everyone who has reached out and said things. I love you guys so much. I think that's so fucking dope. It's You're so hella nice. cool, guys. It's helpful to you need to pick that up later. I'm tired of picking up your fucking garbage off the fucking ground. Is there any bullets in that nerf gun? Anyways, don't forget to come back. To Cheddar Jack. Uh, 
See you next time. Bye, guys. Bye. 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 Bye.